Alright, hello guys. Today we're going to be talking about our first snowfall for the northeastern United States, particularly Maine and New Hampshire and Vermont as well. Uh, we're going to be showing you our snowfall forecast at the end of this video, so stay tuned through the entire thing. But before I get started with this video, though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather-related content, and also make sure to check out the links in the description for our social medias especially the Instagram, please, 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 if you do live in Maine or anywhere else that is expecting to receive snowfall in this video, tag us in those photos on Instagram. I would love to see them and show them on the Instagram and the YouTube at the end of the week and maybe even the end of the month. Now, first things first, we're looking at our warnings, watches, and advisories on this is through Pivotal Weather, but it is the National Weather Service's warnings and advisories here. Pivotal Weather is a great website, by the way. I've been using it a lot lately, and I have shouted them out once before, but I do love especially this feature on their website, the warnings and hazards and everything. You can see we only have flood warnings and flood watches here for the northeastern United States, but I do expect, however, that we will be seeing some winter weather advisories very, very soon for perhaps perhaps some areas in New York, perhaps some areas in Vermont, perhaps some areas in New Hampshire, and especially in the northern regions of Maine, at least winter weather advisories, maybe winter storm watch, I doubt it though. I'm mostly expecting to potentially see some winter weather advisories, depending on how intense this does look as we get a little bit closer. Now, this is expected for the 4th. I think the 4th is Friday. I believe. Yeah, so the 4th should be Friday. So this Friday, we are expecting to receive what I'm showing in this video. Now, our first model we're going to be looking at here is the NAM 12KM model, and this is the high-end model. So this model is showing the most snowfall out of any of the models. So we are going to be showing the high end first, and then we're going to get into the low end, which is the GFS model. So I'll be do showing you the guys the high end and then the low end. So let's get started. You can see we have a low pressure system here located right on the border of Ohio and Pennsylvania. Some general precipitation throughout Michigan and then down through New York, Pennsylvania, and New Jersey alike. Now we're going to move on a frame here, and you can see most of that precipitation moves into upstate New York and Pennsylvania by this point. The low pressure system is kind of spread across Pennsylvania and New York by this point. This is uh, early, early, early morning Friday, maybe late Thursday. Now by kind of the 3 a.m., 2 a.m. time frame on Friday. Our low pressure system is located around Long Island, New York. And you can see we have a lot of heavy precipitation there for New England, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, uh, Massachusetts as well. A lot of heavy precipitation there for Long Island right underneath the low pressure system. Some very heavy rain going on. But you can see that we do have moderate snowfall occurring there in northern Maine, and there's a little bit of blue there on the border of New Hampshire and Maine by this point. This is, again, maybe 2 or 3 a.m. on Friday. Now, moving on another frame, and this is getting closer and closer to sunrise here, maybe 5 or 6 a.m. by this point. Our low pressure system is located just offshore of Martha's Vineyard as well as Nantucket there as a 1,005 millibar low pressure system. And you can see some heavier precipitation developing around this low pressure system as it heads into over and over water, this is going to strengthen quite a bit. And this is pretty similar to a Miller B Nor'easter. I would consider this a Miller B Nor'easter at this point as it was a clipper and then it moves in on the water and develops into a Nor'easter. And it's going to head kind of east northeast and it's not going to be very strong whatsoever as far as wind is concerned. So it's not going to feel like a Nor'easter, but the track is that of what we would consider a Miller B Nor'easter, a very north-based Miller B Nor'easter. And you can see we have moderate snow going on for northern New Hampshire, a lot of interior Maine and northern Maine. So again, this is the high-end model showing a lot of snow. Going to move on one, and you can see by the time we're at about 8 a.m., something like that, 8, 7 a.m., you can see a lot of the snow is wrapping up. We do have some snow going on for the Adirondacks and some of the northern White Mountains in New Hampshire. And then still for northern Maine, we have snow falling, but it is breaking up a lot of that precipitation. And the low pressure system is intensifying there, a 1,002 millibar low pressure system. But uh, by about 11 a.m., it is completely offshore as a 998 millibar low pressure system. So again, it is intensifying, but all of the snow is pretty much done and all of the precipitation for that matter, besides a few flurries and sprinkles going on throughout uh, New England and upstate New York by this point, but nothing too major whatsoever. 
Now here's the snowfall total according to this model. You can see we do have a little bit of snow there for the Adirondacks once again. And then north of the White Mountains, we do have maybe one or two inches of snow. Northern Maine, though, we do see uh, one inches plus, definitely approaching three inches plus for a lot of these areas. Again, this is the high-end model, not really in agreement with this one necessarily. I think this is overdoing it a little bit for some areas and underdoing it for some areas as well. I'll talk about that at the end again during my snowfall forecast, my actual map that I made myself. Uh, now we're going to take a look at the GFS. Uh, we're looking at... Uh, this is maybe morning time Thursday the 3rd. You can see there is precipitation in the area. Showers throughout the northeast. Uh, but by time we're at about, uh, I would say this is about afternoon time. We do have a low pressure system entering Ohio and Pennsylvania. Then by time we're at 8 p.m., we do see this low pressure system spread out once again on this model where the low pressure system is located right around the Finger Lakes of New York, but it is spread all around. We see our heaviest precipitation is in Pennsylvania actually, but there's precipitation all over the place and this is maybe, I would say, this is around again maybe 8 p.m., something like that. Uh, but by 2 a.m., you can see not a lot of snow going on. On the NAM, we did have a lot of snow by this point, but on the GFS, none whatsoever. Our low pressure system is located right over New York City and Long Island as a 10-12 uh, millibar low pressure system and there's a lot of heavier precipitation there for Maine and New Hampshire but no snow whatsoever on this model projection and by 8 a.m. still no snow 1008 millibar low pressure system no snow to be seen anywhere uh, and then by 2 p.m. here again precipitation moves offshore but no snow fell if you do look at the soundings you can see that there was snow falling to the ground in some areas uh, but nowhere where the temperature was 32 degrees and we saw snow throughout all the layers. So I, th I expect that uh, even on this GFS run, we did see snow in a lot of the interior regions of Maine, New Hampshire, and Vermont. But the thing is, uh, the soundings, it, w it didn't show up as, you know, a very dry snow whatsoever. It was a very, very wet snow, maybe mixed with rain, according to the GFS run. And again, this is the very, very low end of the snow and you can see we did see some snow pop up here on the snowfall total according to GFS there um, kind of near Layton Lakes area in Maine I would say we do have a little bit of snowfall accumulation showing up here but I do think that we did see some snow mix in in a lot more areas than just that uh, here's your gem which is the Canadian model you can see we do see a little bit more widespread Snowfall accumulation in here, nothing significant, but definitely some snow did fall in a lot of the areas in interior Maine. So I think this one's a lot more realistic than the GFS or the NAM. This one meets kind of in the middle. And then the Icon, which is, I think, a German model. And, and this one I agree with a lot as well. I think that it's more widespread in Maine, but nothing crazy as far as accumulations. Uh, and then here's our 3KM... NAM, which I think is actually very realistic as well. Just a little bit higher totals than a lot of the other models, but I agree with the locations of where the snow falls on this one. I think this is about how widespread our snowfall will be, but it might be a little bit heavy on the accumulations. As this one has a general one to two inches falling in a lot of areas, I don't think we'll see that much. Uh, now, here's my low end as far as the accumulations is concerned. You can see, I think that uh, and again, this is in the white is anywhere from a dusting or even hardly any accumulation to three inches of snow. So that covers a lot. But I think from just outside, just to the east of Newport, Vermont, into northern, very, very northern New Hampshire, and then uh, Lowellton, Maine or Lowell Town, uh, as well as Clayton Lakes, and just north of Caribou, even in the low end, I think these areas at least see snowflakes. It might not accumulate, but I do suspect that we will see snow uh, in the air for a lot of these areas. So again, if you are in this, be sure to send us in those videos by tagging us on Instagram or photos. I would love, love, love to see those and be able to share them on the Instagram and the YouTube. So be sure to do that if you do live in these areas. Now, let's get started with the high end, and then at, after the high end, I'm going to be doing my actual forecast, so I'm going to do low end, high end, and then what's actually expected. So this is the very, very high end of things. You can see Adirondacks are in that dusting to three inches, uh, Newport is in that one, uh, dusting to three inches, Berlin, New Hampshire, and the White Mountains, including uh, Conway and North Conway, Lincoln, New Hampshire as well, all in that dusting to three inches of snow, Lewilton. 
uh, Clayton Lake, Caribou, Halton, all of these areas are in the dusting to three inches of snow. Now let's add our second layer here. You can see in the high end, we could see potentially three inches of snow plus kind of scattered throughout this blue region. Uh, we saw that on the 3KM NAM as well as the 12KM NAM. So the NAM is picking up on the potential for maybe three inches plus being scattered throughout these areas. I think it's possible, but I'm not forecasting that to happen. But on a high end, if this does overperform, I could see how that would be possible for Lewilton, Clayton Lakes, and Caribou alike. Now here's my expected snowfall. I think that it's going to be pretty widespread. I think from Newport up through Lewilton into Clayton Lakes, Caribou, and Halton will all have a dusting to three inches of snow. Some accumulations of one inches plus will be scattered throughout this, maybe even two inches. But I don't think we'll get over three inches anywhere, uh, anywhere at all within this. Uh, but I do think that a lot of these areas in the white won't see snowfall at all. It's just going to be scattered throughout it. So it's kind of a hard system to forecast. But I think that if you're in this white region, you have a really, really good shot at at least seeing snowflakes and some areas will see at least a dusting. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And this is how a lot of my snowfall forecasts are going to be throughout the year. So I hope you guys are looking forward to it. Uh, I can't wait to forecast more snowstorms. I know this is a pretty minor event, but I was just so excited to be forecasting snow stuff uh, that I'm even doing videos for the more minor events. Again, if you are in these regions, send in those photos and videos by tagging us on Instagram. I would love to see those. We saw people from Ma uh, Montana do that during our big time blizzard. So I would love, love, love to see some viewer send in stuff as well for this storm. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, and I hope that you guys get just as much snow as you want, whether that's nothing or three inches of snow. See you guys later.